to our first ever SCA event. Woo! It is the Crown Tournament, or Arts and Crown, because there's also, oh, all right, in one mile, we're gonna turn right. And then hopefully we, we're there. And we'll see what it's like. We're excited. The people said they were going to meet us at Troll, but we aren't sure where Troll is. You see Troll? Where, where are we? No, this is this is this is the actual map of the place, not for us. Okay. Give me a different map. We found the Troll. Once we found our group, we set up our tent. I was a little surprised that in the SCA, it doesn't matter if you have a historical or modern tent. We brought our large canvas wall tent that we use for Civil War reenacting, but our group said that it would pass as a Roman wall tent, so that worked out well. We got our tent up and changed just in time to go to the feast, which was very delicious. Or like the I mean, it was great. Yeah. So good. Um, My dear. There were several courses focusing on Native American food and recipes that are, were indigenous to our region. We then went back and changed yet again for the ball, which was my absolute favorite part of the weekend. I love to dance and I got to learn so many new wonderful dances and I just had the absolute best time. The next day was the day of the crown tournament. This tournament would decide who would be the next leader of our land. We made our way to the tournament field where the knights and their compatriots would be announced and introduced to the king. In this kingdom, if you want to fight in the crown list, you have to send. Oh, oh, oh. 
Commander Bob Rude. Making ready the Drobo in Kilsnicker and Count Sebastianos and Ugly. On my Dexter, Duke Timothy. On my Sinister, Joe Lord. He's a former kingdom senator too. Duke Timothy was triumphant and will be the next king of Meridies, our land. The new prince and princess were then crowned by the now king and queen, and then there was a more formal reception line to greet the new prince and princess, who will soon become king and queen. For kings and queens in Meridies reign about six months. After the tournament, we had some free time, so we went to the merchant's row, and then we went back to our camp just to hang out, and we tried playing some chess, but it was a little bit boring. And I also lost, so that wasn't that much fun. It was then time for our first court. Now, as far as I can tell, court is a time to come together, recognize the leaders, make announcements about what's happening in the kingdom, and to present formal thank yous to those who are doing good work on behalf of the society. The SCA seems to be full of wonderful people who are really good at showing their appreciation to people, which is just really admirable. There was also a very special award ceremony that we got to see take place an elevation to the Order of the Laurel. The Laurel is one of three peerages in the SCA, and therefore it is the highest award given in the SCA for excellence in the arts and the sciences. 
The other peerages are the Pelican, which is awarded to those who have shown great service to the kingdom. There is also the Order of Chivalry, which consists of knights and the masters of arms. Their members are recognized for their great skill at arms in combat, as well for qualities of courtesy and grace. Because it was our first court ever, we were given gifts by the king and queen and the populace, and I chose this cap, and Stephen chose a fun game. Now you might be wondering, what is the SCA, or the Society for Creative Anachronism? Well, according to their website, the Society for Creative Anachronism is an inclusive community pursuing research and recreation of pre-17th century skills, arts, combat, and culture. The lives of participants are enriched as we gain knowledge of history through activities, demonstrations, and events. It's kind of like LARPing and reenacting Had a Kid, and their focus is, of course, historical accuracy, but also fun, and they never want to lose out on the fun part. And I really enjoy that. And I think my husband and I are going to become members after our first event. We had so much fun. And while the Society for Creative Anachronism has a lot of hierarchy with knights and laurels and kings and queens, there is a fun saying that we all do our own laundry when we go home. <laughs>